channels everyone welcome to another video it is me Desiree and I'm wearing the cutest shirt I've ever found at Ross I've never found clothes at Ross that place is always a mess but this is like the cutest softest most beautiful shirt I've ever seen it's tied up on the bottom it's so cute I just love it anyway we're gonna do some drugstore highlighters today I want to talk about my entire drugstore highlight collection with swatches so enough talking let's get into it because it's gonna be a long video anyway first up is this Rimmel palette. This is the highlighting palette from Rimmel. Yeah, Rimmel. They came out with a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight palette. And um, I bought this one only because I wanted all of them. I don't really like these that much. And yeah, I swatched these right before this video just to see the formula because I don't usually swatch a lot of my stuff. But um, yeah, they're not amazing. I've put these on my face and I don't really like the way they look. But I also don't really like the highlights in any of these little kits that they have. I like the blushes and the bronzers, but the highlights are just kind of a big miss for me. And these are no different. So, yeah, I don't I don't really like these that much. Um, the next one up that nobody seems to like except for me is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Palette. I love this thing. And I don't know why no one else likes it. I mean, the swatches, as you're going to see, are kind of tragic. But on the face, they're really, really pretty. They're super natural looking. So this is definitely a highlight for natural highlight lovers. Um, I don't think if you love highlights that you're going to like this that much. But it's a palette that I really enjoy. No one else seems to like. Um, a couple of Wet n Wild ones I decided to keep. All the other ones I've ever bought, limited edition included, I put on my Poshmark. Um, this is the shade called Blossom Glow. I've never used this. Look at it. I bought this because... Um, uh, what did I hear? Someone talk about it being like a dupe for some Dior one. And I liked the shade of the Dior, so I thought I would like the shade of this. And I actually never used it. I don't know why. But of course, like the main one is Precious Petals. I do use this one pretty regularly. I think it's really pretty. But I kind of forget about it all the time. But it is a really, really nice shade. If you haven't tried these, I mean, where have you been? They're really good, really good formulas. They have a lot of really great shades. Depending on your skin tone, not everything is going to work for everybody. But I think they're really, really pretty. Um... These two from Physicians Formula, I think, are spectacular. They're the uh, Muru Muru Butter Highlighters. I have the shades Pearl and Champagne. The formula on these is really interesting because it feels like a cream, but like a... I don't really know, I don't know what the formula is, but I think it's cream, like a really hard-pressed cream. I think that these are wonderful. They look really good on wet... Not wet. Um... No foundation skin. Where was I going with that? On foundation-less skin. A concealer-only kind of day. A skincare-only kind of day. These blend on great on top of skincare or, you know, nothing. I don't think they look that good on top of foundation. I really never use these on top of foundation. I only use them on uh, no makeup days because they're just really great. But they don't really blend that well on top of foundation. Um, let's see. Another one from Physicians Formula that is... a big old bummer is this one from it's called mineral glow pearls translucent pearl so <clears throat> this is only good until the overspray ro rubs away i don't know if you can see but like there's a really beautiful like shiny overspray here and like right here you can kind of see where it's gone it, it's it's great at first because the overspray looks really pretty on your face i don't know if i'm gonna get any in a swatch though nah but it's super duper pretty but once the overspray wears away, it's just a boring powder and it doesn't do anything. It's a shade that's exactly like my skin tone. I don't like this at all. The overspray was super misleading and I think it's definitely not something to check out because I just don't like it. The overspray kind of was blah. Um, this is from Pixi, the glossy, glossy, glowy glossomer duo. Hold on one second. Oh, hold on. Dog was chewing on my magazines. Um, so this is super shiny. I have this one on my face today and I think it's wonderful. It reminds me of other highlights I already own though and a couple that might look very familiar in the swatches that I'm going to do today. But it's so pretty and shiny. It's really great. Blends well and I think it looks really pretty. So yeah, there's that one. I finally bit the bullet and tried it. Everyone's been talking about that. <sighs> this guy. These are a few from Maybelline. These are some Master Chrome highlights. This is the shade Rose Gold, Molten Rose Gold. This is my favorite of all. This is so pretty. The formula I to swatch is really soft. They're not meant to be swatched, I don't think. 
but it's so pretty. I love the way this looks on my skin tone. You can build it up to look crazy metallic if you like, but I like, I love this one. I think it's so, so pretty. The next one is Molten Gold. This was like the first one that came out that everyone lost their minds over for good reason. It's a beautiful highlight, very gold, very pretty. I think it looks great on everyone's skin tone. I've never seen anyone use this that doesn't like it or that it doesn't look good on. Formula, really nice and blendable and pretty. Um, this is the shade Molten Peach. This is one that I thought I would really like, but I just really don't like it on my skin tone. I think it's a little too dark. It's this one right up here. And I don't know. It just looks a little too much on my face. And I just don't really care for it. This one, though, a huge miss. This is the Prismatic Highlighter. It's just called Prismatic Highlight. The formula on this is not like the other ones at all. So I'm swatching like crazy, but look what I'm getting on my finger, okay? It's kind of like... A white powder and it doesn't look good on your face it's very flaky and chunky and I just don't like it I don't know why they came out with this one I personally don't really like it at all but it's one that I have um, two from wet and wild here that are almost exact dupes one is the moon tears that they came out with the gothic graphic collection and then this is one of the new permanent ones called I'm so lit they are a loose powder highlight I can't imagine anyone using this up in their life but they look very, very similar, and they swatch very close, but they look exactly the same on the face. Let's get a little more of that one. Whoops. A little much. So that is how they look. Really, really pretty highlighters. If you love your highlight, you like it to, you to, like to look beaming, really, really beautiful formula with these highlights. I think they did a home run job um, with this loose powder formula. They did come out with these in holiday the last couple of years as well in little bottles. I think they were kind of like test driving them back then. I know they kind of decided to make them permanent. They're beautiful highlights. I love having those. Another way, uh, Physician's Formula one that I think is discontinued is this one here called Warm Nude. This is really pretty. This is also one of my favorites. I think that these powders are beautiful. I'll swatch a few for you. You can wear these to be intense. You can wear them to be like subtle right in the middle. They're beautiful. They're not too metallic. They're not too over the top. They blend really well. And that's one of my favorite highlights, but I remember Bailey talked about it recently and I think she said it was discontinued, which kind of sucks. Um, another really awesome highlight I have is the bronzing and highlighting palette Shimmer Switch called In the Clouds from CYO. A lot of brands kind of make something like this. I think Physicians Formula is the first brand I ever saw with something like this. So if you already have one of these, you don't need another one. They kind of all do the same kind of thing. This is awesome. I love having this. I wear it very regularly. I think it looks super duper pretty. I don't know why it's called bronzing and highlighting because other than this shade, it's not really doing a lot of bronzing for me, but I think it's super duper pretty. I love having this. The shades in that are so lovely. And um, yeah, I love that one. Um, some couple of products from e.l.f. This is a, I don't know, looks like this and it's called Moonlight Pearls. This is kind of blah for me. It kind of reminds me of the, um, uh, Essence Pure Nude Highlight, where it's kind of just like a powder. It's this stripe right here. It's kind of just like powder, and it's, I don't know, doesn't really do a whole lot for me, but I have it because I got it. It came with a brush that I love, but this, I don't know, maybe I'm just not using it correctly, but for me, it's just kind of underwhelming. Um, the other thing I have here is the Shimmering Skin Whip. This is how it looks. I don't know why they call this a whip, because this feels like a really sticky balm. It's really pretty. I haven't used it yet on my face because the texture and the feeling of it is just so gross to me. Um, yeah, it's called Shimmering Skin Whip, but it feels like a sticky, sticky chapstick. Like, like I would not even want this on my lips. But it looks really pretty in a swatch. This also came in a little kit. That's why I have it, but haven't been brave enough to put it on my face just yet. Um, the Instant Glow Highlighting Duo from Almay is another one that I own. The, ugh, this, this is not good. This is a cream highlight on one side. And does it have a shade? Zero, no, 200 Nude Glow. It has a liquid and it has a cream. The cream is a little too dark for me. I know in the swatch, there you go, you kind of see it here. It's a little too dark for me, so I, have, I don't really like it that much. And then the cream highlight blends away. Like, it blends into absolutely nothing. It just absorbs straight into my skin. It looks like nothing. This is a huge light down for me as well. Don't like it. Wouldn't recommend it. 
Um, I, two palettes I have here from Sleek. I know they don't sell Sleek at every drugstore. I did find both of these at Walgreens, though. Um, this is how it looks. It comes with a little brush on this side that looks like this. Really freaking beautiful. I love this thing. These are very shiny. They're going to be very similar to highlights I've already shown here today. But this formula is just so great. I remember when I bought this, I freaked out. This is unlike any formula I've ever used and ever found since. It's just amazing. I would say the next closest thing would be the formula in this Pixi one. Really pretty. It does come with a cream highlight as well that um, I don't really like. It dries down. It dries down so fast. So fast. The second you try to put this on your face, it's dry. It's stuck there. It's not going anywhere. So, but the powder ones are super pretty, and that's the one called Solstice. I also have the darker one here called Copper Plate. This one was actually given to me by one of my coworkers because she knew I liked the other one a lot. And this one is way too deep for me. Let me wipe this other one off real quick. Uh, what do I do? Okay. Let's swatch that one again. Okay. My hand is looking very pretty right now. This one is way too deep for me for highlighters. I haven't really used this one much at all. I tried it once on my eyes and it was fine. But it's just a palette of metallic shine and it's a little over the top for my face personally. But a very, very beautiful formula. If you have darker skin, I think this one will look great. And a couple of last things here. This is the Infallible Eyeshadow from, uh, from L'Oreal called Iced Latte. This is a shadow. I've been trying a lot more to use eyeshadow as highlighters. And this is one I tried recently because I thought it would just look like nice. And it is very intense for a highlighter because it's an eyeshadow. I know I've seen people use this before as highlights. And for me, it's a little much. But I'm still trying with it. I'm still trying other... Um, if you have any other eyeshadows you recommend as highlights, I would love to know. This is a beautiful eyeshadow though. And I've been trying it on the face. That's why I thought I would mention it. And then the last things I want to mention are, we're a limited edition release, but it is something I own, so I thought I would share them with you. Um, let's, what? Whoops. Um, let's try out this really quickly. These are from Rimmel. They're the Magnifies um, holographic eyeshadows. They're more just iridescent. They're so pretty. These came out in summer of 2018. I wish they kept them around longer. They only came out one display. Once the display was empty, they never replenished and they were gone. These are shades I love. I love shades like this so much. The Kat Von D Alchemist palette is one of my absolute favorite things I've ever purchased. And these are so similar. I love them. I wear them on the eyes all the time. I wear them very lightly on the face once in a while when I want just something fun as a highlight. Love them so much. If you happen to see these kicking around in a store somewhere, maybe they'll bring them back for holiday. I don't know, but... Yeah. Anyway, that is that. That is my drugstore highlight collection with swatches. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you use any of these products or you like them or you hate them or I overlook something. Please let me know. I would love to know. And that is that. I will see you tomorrow in another video for Drugstore Month. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you then. Uh, goodbye.